Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Chris. So, today I'm really happy. Nagagawa na naman tayo ng isang makeup vlog and this will be the power of makeup. Let's start. So before doing your makeup, don't forget your skincare routine. Very important po yung skincare. Hindi ko lang pinapakita na dito sa camera ako anong ginagawa ko sa skin ko bago ako mag-makeup. Pero nakapaglagay na ako ng serum, moisturizer, and everything sa skin ko. Especially, very dry skin po talaga ako. Which is not good pag naglagay ka ng mga powder. Kasi parang there were times na hindi mo talaga may iwasan yung maging cakey siya. Kasi super dry talaga yung skin ko. So, don't forget to apply your skincare routine. And before you start your makeup, always use the primer or base. Marami namang mabibiling murang primer or base kasi talagang pag mga branded, mahal din naman talaga siya. So you can go to the pharmacy or any uh, primer or base na talagang affordable. Like me, uh, bumili ako ng Maybelline. Uh, these things, mabibili mo siya sa pharmacy or any store na like, you know, hindi yung mga sobrang mahal talaga. So, let's start with let's start with our primer or base. Lagay lang natin siya sa mga area na like here, here. So yung primer or base guys na bibilhin nyo, according dapat sa skin type nyo. So it doesn't matter kung super mahal or mura kung ano lang yung afford nyo. But please don't skip your primer or your base. It's very important. So medyo dadamihan ko yung aking primer dahil OA ako. Chame. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put a little bit on my eyelid, yung mga tira-tira lang sa fingertips ko. And your upper lip. Konti sa neck kasi syempre magme-makeup din tayo siya na maglalagay tayo ng foundation. Okay. So, Medyo patuyuin mo lang siya ng konti. Pag feel mong okay na siya, nakaset na siya sa skin mo, then we're going to our foundation. So dahil ito ay power of makeup, una ko munang lalagyan is yung half ng face ko para makita talaga natin yung difference pag may makeup at wala. Okay? So I'm going to use my foundation which is Ginagamit ko rin to for my everyday life na paglalabas, not really for special occasion or whatever. This, um, I'm having this Crayolan. So I have this Crayolan, which is also, this foundation is good for dry skin like me. Meron din sila nitong for oily or whatever your skin type is. So itatanong nyo lang sa mga sales lady doon sa mga makeup artist kung ano yung skin para sa'yo. Or, check nyo na lang din. So, as I said, gagawin muna natin yung ating half face para makita talaga natin yung power of makeup. Ito 
yung makeup guys na filter look but no filter something like that so about makeup guys don't worry of doing makeup to yourself there is no rules in makeup if it makes you happy then go for it okay just do it girl so ayan nalagyan na natin ng foundation yung half face ko so what are we going to do next is gonna conceal our dark circles for my concealer i'm gonna use the same brand the crayolan or crayolan um i have here the palette yeah Then get your sponge. Ako naman guys, ang parang mas nag-work sa akin na sponge is yung wet. Yung iba ayaw nila ng wet, pero sa face ko, face ko. <laughs> pero sa face ko, um, mas gusto ko yung wet uh, beauty blender. So, kung kayo, try nyo din kung gusto nyo wet or dry. So, let's start baking. So, bago ako mag-set ng aking foundation at maglagay ng setting powder, I prefer na maglagay muna ng konting contour para later on, i-retouch ko na lang siya. So, for contouring, I still have the same palette nung uh, my concealer. And this is like a creamy um, contour cream. At later on, isi-set ko rin siya ng contour powder. I'm gonna use my 109 brush from Zoeva. Yung ibang tao, pag pinapakita ko sa kanila, pag naka-makeup ako or hindi, yung mga pictures, minsan sinasabi nila na ikaw ba talaga to or something like that kasi nag-iiba talaga yung mukha ko or kahit sino naman siguro pag nalalagyan ng makeup. So, sinasabi nila, minsan like, parang pait ng mukha mo dito or something. Well, of course, we have contouring. So, papakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung magic ng contour, kung paano tayo napapapayat nito. Especially kung chubby cheeks ka, kagaya ko. So, ito na yung contouring. So, ito ang nagagawa ng contouring sa mukha mo. Cheekbone on point? Nasa ng point? <laughs> so, kung halimbawa, mas chubby pa yung cheeks niyo sa akin, pwede naman kayong magdagdag pa ng more contour! More! More, more, more. contouring, baby. So, kagaya ko, pag sa personal is may double chin ako, so I think I'm gonna put more over here. This is what you call the religion of contouring. So for my eyebrows, I like my brows to look bushy. Yung hindi naman sobrang kalat kalat pero alam mo yung hindi naman sobrang perfect. So my secret is I'm using some hair wax or yung hair gel para ma-set lang siya na hindi siya gumalaw or something. Especially kung yung eyebrows nyo is, alam nyo yung parang pabagsak siya, na parang pa ganun siya. Mas magandang gumamit kayo ng um, hair gel. Alam nyo yung nilalagay sa book or hair wax. And i-shape nyo dun sa brows nyo. So, I have here. Yeah. So, ayan siya guys. Meron akong konting hair wax. So, isa-set ko lang yung eyebrows ko. 
Yung brows ko kasi guys, medyo mabuhok na rin siya. At parang naka-shape na rin siya. Medyo dark yung brows ko ngayon kasi nilagyan ko siya ng brow tint na dark brown. So, i-brush nyo lang siyang pa ganyan para medyo bushy siya. Then, gamitin nyo to. I-flat mo siyang ganyan. Para magmukha siyang bushy. Depende sa kagustuhan nyo kung gano'ng kabushy nyo gusto. So, ganyan siya guys. Para siyang brow lamination. Na parang nakadikit siya sa skin mo. So, at least, at this kind of technique, hindi magkakalat yung brows mo na, di ba minsan kahit shinape mo na yung brows mo with a eyeliner or something like uh, brow, alam mo yung pang drawing ng eyebrows, minsan ano siya di ba, hindi siya sumusunod yung brows natin. So mas magandang lagyan nyo siya ng hair wax or ng yung pang gel sa buhok. So, let it dry for a few minutes. Habang pinapatuyo natin yung ating brows, uh, let's set our foundation with the loose powder. So, meron ako ditong uh, loose powder, guys. Ano lang siya? Translucent means wala siyang kulay. Powder lang siya para maset yung ating foundation at ating contouring. So, I'm gonna use this uh, brand, Gash. Yan siya. Yung loose powder, guys, lalagyan ko lang yung sa tingin kong kailangan ko lang lagyan. Not everything. Para maset lang siya. After setting my eyebrows, gagamit na tayo ng brow powder or yung pang, pang drawing na natin ng ating eyebrows. I'm going to use my Ardell palette. So all this makeup po ay very affordable. So after four years, natapos din ang aking pagkikilay. <laughs> so let's go to our eyeshadow. So for my eyeshadow, meron ako dito ng Revolution Makeup London. This is very cheap, guys. I think sa Pilipinas na sa ano lang to, like 500 to 1,000 pesos. Not really expensive. So lahat ng ginagamit kong makeup today is very affordable at talagang magagamit niyo. Yan yung mga shades niya. So, I'm gonna use the blush pink and then the peachy one. I think I'm gonna mix that too. This one and that one. So, let's go. And I will make a little bit smoky like maglalagay tayo ng konting black sa dulo. So, let's start. Dahil may hooded eyes ako guys, so lagi akong naglalagay ng eyeshadow over my original crease kasi hindi makikita yung eyeshadow pag susundan ko yung crease ko. So lagi akong parang dito sa may taas pa ng crease ko, yan, ganyan dyan. So kung may hooded eyes kayo, pwede kayong mag-go above your original crease para mas makita yung eyeshadow nyo. Kasi pag ganito, hindi ko siya yung overlap hindi makikita yung eyeshadow. So, 
So I like the black color to smoke a little bit dun sa inner corner, yung parang mga halfway or three fourths. Then blend, blend, blend. Alam nyo guys, sa pag makeup, wag nyo i judge yung on process. Kasi ang makeup, makikita mo yung pinaka result niya pag tapos na talaga. So, pag halimbawa, nagmi-makeup kayo sa sarili nyo at sa tingin nyo, ay ala, ba't ganito ang pangit? Ganyan, ganyan. So, tapusin nyo muna yung, ano, yung ginagawa nyo. Like, nag-try-try kayo. Kasi pag ganito, talagang parang feeling mo, parang hindi siya maganda, ganyan, hindi siya blended. Pero pag tiyagaan nyo lang yung pagbe-blend, then later on, may kita nyo rin yung magandang result. Kung halimbawa, afford nyo din bumili ng mga makeup brush na may mga um, like good quality, mas maganda rin siya, nakakatulong din siya na mas mapaganda yung blending nyo. And then... For my eyeshadow, I'm going to add a little bit of gold. Nagamitan ko lang siya ng aking finger. Then, I'm gonna tap it only here sa middle. So, I'd like to put to my bottom lashes some dark, yung black. But before that, lagyan muna natin ng peach. Little bit of peach. Over here. So for my inner corner, medyo hahabaan ko siya ng konti dito para mas medyo malaki yung mata kong tingnan. Okay? I'm also going to draw yung dito sa my lower lash line na. So sa aking inner corner, maglalagay ako ng konting shimmer para mas buhay lang yung aking inner corner. Let's now move on to our eyeliner. So I'm going ahead with my false lashes. I'm using tati lashes. For my bottom lashes guys, I just use this one. Mabibili mo lang to sa mga China store. Ayan siya. So now, I'm going ahead with my blusher. I'm using the Rimmel palette. Bago kayo mag-lipstick guys, mas maiging mag-lip balm muna kayo at least hindi dry yung lips nyo. So earlier, bago ako nag-start ng aking makeup, naglagay na ako ng lip balm. So, last but not the least is highlighter. Actually guys, I'm not using a really highlighter. I'm using a luminizer from the balm. So, this is the one I'm using. So, parang hindi naman siya yung sobrang highlight na highlight.
practicing, keep making mistakes. Through your mistakes, dun ka matututo eh. So, dumaan din ako sa mga ganyang mga mistakes. Maraming practice, sobrang daming practice kasi hindi naman talaga ako marunong mag-makeup. I'm not saying that I'm really good in doing makeup ngayon, but I can say na marunong akong mag-makeup at naiintindihan ko na yung theory kung paano ko gagawin at paano ako mag-blend. Just keep learning, don't stop learning, keep practicing, at kung sa tingin mo parang hindi mo siya nakukuha yung blending, just keep going. Sige lang, mag-ano ka lang. Parang mag-experiment ka. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying to my video. Please don't forget to subscribe in my channel and share this to your Facebook and Instagram to your friends and family. So again, this is me without makeup. And this is me with makeup. This is the power of makeup. Thank you guys. See you again next time. Bye!